In the month since two children were hit and killed while using a crosswalk in Prince George's County, there's been a push to make crosswalks safer for kids. Prince George's County police have stepped in as crossing guards near schools. News Force Juliana Valencia shows us how it's working near Riverdale Elementary School. You know, I can't even imagine it, it'd be unthinkable what happened uh, in that November. Nothing will, will bring those babies back, but it'll bring them a, a sense that we care and we and the police department cares. It's been almost five months since five year old Sky Sosa and 10 year old Shalom Emba were killed at this crosswalk outside Riverdale Elementary School. This morning, Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Aziz helped their schoolmates get across safely. These are all our children, and we are accountable and responsible to all of them, and we want to get out here and do our part and play our role in making sure people are safe. There was no crossing guard at the time of the crash, but the chief has said that was unlikely to have made a difference. Since that awful day in November, the chief says 500 people have applied to be crossing guards. 80 are currently in background checks. And while they get permanent crossing guards in place, the chief says their commanders and even staff from the fire department have come out to help since. Parent Estela Reyes says she's seen the increased presence. There is more security. I feel safer now because sometimes I have to wait for my little girl here, and now there's always someone that helps her cross. Other parents wish crossing guards could be there all the time to keep people from speeding. They're always in a hurry to get to work. That's the problem. They don't make the stop. As for this morning, before leaving, the chief checked in, asking students to remind others to cross safely. So you gonna help me with that? Yeah. In Prince George's County. Me with that. You're better than me. I'm Juliana Valencia, News 4.